G'day YouTube, this is Ozzy Pops and thanks for joining me again, I hope you're having a great day and today we are going to be covering uh, the other New York Comic Con exclusives that I have gotten over the last three years. Uh, there's not too many but let's do this. Okay, so today we're going over my New York Comic Con collection. I don't have a whole bunch compared to the San Diego Comic Con exclusives, probably because October, as everybody, every pop collector knows, they drop so many pops and uh, I'm usually always broke. So, uh, when New York Comic Con comes, it's always around the first of the month. So, it's always around the first of the month when renters do, of course. I'm not filthy rich, so yeah, one day I'm going to get to go to New York Comic Con and it will be awesome. So we're going to go over these five, uh, we're going to start off with, of course, 2015 New York Comic Con exclusive Iron Throne, uh, Game of Thrones, I'm going to take this out because it is a very, very cool pop and I'm going to do this carefully. Don't want, to, don't want to uh, ruin this one. Okay, so this is the Iron Throne. And I really think that this is the ultimate out-of-box pop. And it's it's weird because this is not... This is one of, I think, only a few pops that isn't of a character. It's of the Iron Throne. Um, it is very well done. It's got all the swords. Oh, very, very great detail. I really, why? Well, I remember buying this at Hot Topic. Um, my wife's, my, actually, I think my wife bought it at Hot Topic, and you know, bought it for, bought it for, you know, thirty dollars. I think it was. Was it twenty dollars? $20 at Hot Topic, and we all know the price of this one now. Uh, it is it is very sought after, um, very great out of box pop. Um, I, I want to do a now. I have an Instagram now for my pop collection, so uh, look up Aussie Pop Hunter out on Instagram. Uh, I want to do a, a photo shoot with this and a few Game of Thrones. Uh, maybe a few Game of Thrones pictures, and uh, this will this will definitely be part of it. So we're going to I'll put them in the box later after this show. Okay, so we're going to go with 2016 New York Comic Con exclusive Batman. My wife always likes to like to make the joke that this is Gay Pride Batman, and I like to call it Rainbow Batman. Um, of course, if you roll that way, more power to you. Yeah? I got no hate. So, okay, so this box does not want to come out nicely. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we'll put all these back gently after the show. Okay, so this is Rainbow Batman. We've got he is rainbow from head to toe. My wife loves this pop, and uh, you can see why. Uh, she's very it's, very. it's actually one of two Batman pop Batman pops that I have, which is weird because I love Batman. There's just so many, and I just I've never got into collecting the Batmans. Um, I don't honestly know why, because. Who doesn't like that? Okay, so we'll put him in the Iron Throne. Oh yeah, see, good representation of a pop literally sits perfectly in the Iron Throne. <laughs> okay, so, uh, also 2016 New York Comic Con exclusive. I'm just going to take these out of the box very carefully. We don't want to ruin the box and we don't want to ruin the pop. Um, of course, so, 
Okay. So this is the Joker, the Killing Joke. Uh, if you if you watch the Killing Joke, if you haven't seen the Killing Joke, please do watch it because it's a very good, um, very good animation. It is R rated, um, and it really does capture the Joker very, very, very well. And uh, so this is Killing Joke. Joker. Uh, he's got his camera. He's got his lemonade. He's looking like he's on vacation. And uh, really, really awesome pop. Uh, very, very glad that we we got that. So uh, next, I'm not going to take this one out of the box because it is it is two pieces, and that is the New York Comic Con exclusive. Seated Sally 2016. Um, it's got Sally seated, um, her, the cat right next to her. I can never remember what the cat's name is, um, but if you do, leave it in a comment. <laughs> um, my wife collects all the Disney pops, so only natural that when we see a Comic Con exclusive Disney pop, we buy it. Um, I wish, I wish I had started collecting. 2013 because there is some New York Comic Con D23 Disney Pops that I would love to have only spent $30 on. $15 on. Any of them. Really. So, last but not least, this is one of my my favourites. Uh, he is also from 2016. I realized I did not buy any New York Comic Cons pops last year, which is really, really weird. Um, wait, I know why. I was really broke. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get online, I'll buy some for an outrageous price. But uh, I do have a lot of summer exclusives. It's like summer I have money. Coming into October, no money. Only seems only seems natural, right? <laughs> okay, so this is 2016 New York Comic Con exclusive Super Saiyan Trunks. Um, this was the first um, Trunks released, and he uh, he went quickly because um, he was the first Trunks released, and he's got he's very well. Very, it's a almost perfect representation of Trunks. Um, I wish they would do a leaping attack Trunks. I know they've got uh, the the crouching, the crouching one up there from the Hot Topic exclusive, and uh, but they really need one where he's like on a stand, because then I'll do that and the freezer pop in a in a collaboration picture. And it will be epic. So. Um, if you if you like the video, hit subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you want. Hate on it as much as you want if you want to. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time. This is Ozzy Pops.